you're ready to ditch your landlord or frankly you're just ready for your next move but how do you decide whether to build a new home or to buy pre-owned well today i'll be joined by juliana who is our area sales manager and who has over 10 years in the new home building business as well as a very strong design background thanks to the influence of her mom and frankly she has a pedigree here with paysetter homes of multiple generations of her family working with us Welcome, Juliana. Thanks so much for having me. So when I hear people talk about buying pre-owned, typically um, the first thing that comes to mind is, I'm looking for character. What do we say about looking for character? Yeah, so I definitely understand that people want character. They kind of want that charm that an that older house might have. You know, those pokey kind of spaces that make it unique and special. But here's the thing is for today's lifestyle, we need something that's really gonna function for us. So we're so busy all the time. We tend to have so many things going on. So we wanna have large spacious front entries when everyone piles in all at the same time. We want that nice spacious mudroom off the garage so that you have a place for everything, your gloves, your toques, your mitts. Dog leashes. Yeah, everything, <laughs> right? So old houses just don't have those kind of features to them. And I think they're also a little bit more boxy, right? Like you, you typically see more open main floor living space in a newer built home. Absolutely. So yeah, all of our plans are that open concept. You have that big gathering space where everyone can see each other, be with everyone all the time, whether somebody's in the kitchen cooking or somebody wants to be relaxing by the fire. And speaking of the kitchen, um, I'm thinking of older homes that may not have something that newer homes typically have, which is that nice big pantry, sometimes even a walk-through pantry to the garage. Yeah, how awesome would that be? You just come with your groceries right from the garage through into your pantry. You can unload nice and easily. There's going to be space for everything that you have, all those groceries. Especially now, people tend to load up as they go, you know, big run to Costco. So they end up with big, huge boxes of things. So this will give you a spot to put all of that. And if they're like me, they like to do everything everything in one haul. So you have your <laughs> arms full of every single bag that you have so that yeah. you don't have to make a second trip. Yeah, who wants to do, you know, 10,000 trips back and forth from the vehicle? So this just makes it so much easier. And I think a bigger thing that I also think about too is the en suites. There are a lot of maybe older homes that um, don't even have the en suite attached mm -hmm. to the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we almost have like an owner suite. So not only are you gonna get an awesome closet, which you might not get in an older house, but the en suite for sure. So now with en suites, we often have two sinks. So, you know, you and your spouse or your partner, you're not gonna be fighting over sinks. You can get ready at the same time in the morning or for bed. Um, I like it because I can keep mine nice and tidy and then you're not <laughs> battling with cleanliness level. Who doesn't right? miss the shaving little <laughs> extras in the sink, right? Yeah, those are fun. <laughs> <laughs> so this way you've got your own sink. You also get sometimes a separate tub and a shower so you can get, you know, those fantastic freestanding soaker tubs are kind of the in thing now. So it'll, it's basically like your own oasis at your house. Amazing. Yeah. Also, you can you know pick and choose all these finishes, which is great. So if you want to have a, a bathroom that looks like a spa and really light, fresh colors, or you prefer something more dark and moody, you would be able to pick all of those items when you get a new built house. Instead of having to save up all the money for the renovation to make it look the way you want it to. Yeah, this way it's all in one, like all in one price for you. So you're not gonna have to worry about, oh, I have to save up and then I, I have enough money, I can do my kitchen now. And then I have to save up and wait and now I have enough money, I'll do my bathroom. This way it's just all included in one price for you. It's gonna be done the way that you want it the first time when you move in. And it's going to be seamless. There isn't going to be that really beautiful bathroom, but then the rest of the home still looks like the 15 year old house that you might have. Exactly. So it's all, it's just all finished. It's so much easier to do. I think renovating can be very daunting to many trying to make the home cohesive. So with new construction, you have a lot of guidance in that. Absolutely. So quite often you're going to be paired with a designer that will help you through the process to ensure that everything looks good together. But you're also going to go more often than not to kind of one place to pick out all your selections at one time. So it just makes it so much more convenient for the homeowner. They can go to one spot, pick out their tile, their cabinets, their flooring, their paint colors, even their trims, their doors everything like there's so many details that go into a house it would be so challenging for somebody who doesn't have any experience in it trying to go from a pinterest board i need to find a tile at this store i need to find hardwood flooring at that store i need to pick up my paint at this store right it would just be so stressful and then your weekend is gone 
You've spent yeah. the whole time trying to source materials. And not materials. just one, multiple weekends. Multiple weekends. <laughs> <laughs> and also we do have um, designers that can help you with your layout of your house as well. So you can even customize the layout too, not only just what you're seeing in terms of finishings, but you can also customize the layout. So again, we, we first talked about character versus function. Well, now you're gonna get a house that's even more functional specifically for you because you're gonna be able to personalize it. So you can have that, you know, maybe full bath on the main floor mm -hmm. versus a half bath yeah. if you choose and things yeah. like that. Full bathroom, bedroom on the main floor, even a side entrance. We have lots of people putting in legal suites now. So we can ensure that the staircase is where it needs to be so we can put a door for the entrance to the basement. So all of these things you would never get with a pre-owned house. You can't change where the stairs are <laughs> in a house that's already built, right? So if the stairs are in the middle of the house and you want to put a legal suite in, you have to be there's no other way to do it. So yeah. you have to have the stairs on the side. So you start from the bones yeah. and go from there up. Yeah, absolutely. So speaking of stairwells being put in after the fact, there's always that you know mysterious history. Like maybe mm -hmm. the previous homeowner didn't really have the skills or time to keep up with the maintenance or you know make sure that the exterior water was going away from the home. So there's always a lot of unknowns with that pre-owned home. Absolutely, and people will always say, well, I can get a home inspection, and yes, absolutely, home inspections can be great, but there's only so much they can see. They can't see what's behind the walls. They can't see what a homeowner might have covered up with fresh, a fresh coat of paint. It, you know, the wall could have a leak that had been going on for years, and all they did was give it a fresh coat of paint, and now it looks great to the outside, but you actually don't know what's going on behind the walls. With a builder, you'll often have walkthroughs at different stages during the construction, so you can actually see what your house looks like behind the wall. Walls. So you can rest assured that what's going into the house is exactly what the builder is saying and you know that it's done properly to the current building code as well. Yeah, you're not getting that handyman special where mm -hmm. some things might be permitted and others are not mm -hmm. and that can affect your insurance and that's there's a lot of mystery there, right? Absolutely. And it, it just takes all the guesswork out of it when you're getting something that's brand new. You're the only person that's lived in it. So you're the first one that's going to take a shower or a bath. You're the first person that's going to step on the carpet with their bare feet. You're not going to get those nasty pet dander, pet odors, possibly smoking odors, all of those things that can make a house feel kind of grungy, right? So this way you're the first person it's gonna be ultra clean for you when you move in. And it's turnkey. You basically get the keys on closing day mm -hmm. and you have your moving company show up, tell them where the sectional goes and all you have to do is unpack. If you're not handy, no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what's great when you build a house is not only is it gonna be beautiful for what you see, but we're also gonna make it extremely efficient for what you don't see. So all of those things that we put into a house to save money on your utilities, like triple pane windows, tankless on-demand hot water system, uh, the high efficient furnace. So, I mean, in Edmonton, we have winter, you know, <laughs> most of the year. So we have to consider, we wanna keep our houses as warm as possible, right? So. Uh, all of those things will contribute to a warm house. Also, a programmable thermostat is really beneficial to have. And that also is kind of the basics for home automation that you can get when you buy a new build house as well. Not all builders have those things inclusive, so that's a good thing to kind of have on your checklist as a home buyer who's considering new construction is what is important to me with regards to things like home automation and, and that types mm -hmm. of things because I'm pretty sure not everybody out there offers that. Right, and what's great is that if you do find a builder that includes those items, it's gonna be so much easier for you because you're not gonna try and piecemeal a system together. So you're not gonna go to the hardware store again on your weekends where you wanna be enjoying yourself, where you're picking out you know, light switches from one manufacturer and then light bulbs from another manufacturer and a thermostat from another one. This way it's oftentimes all integrated for you. Uh, Paysetter in particular uses a special type of home automation called Home Auto and they actually get a copy of your blueprints. So it's also a very smart and intuitive system because it knows the layout of your house. And I think speaking of systems in the house and things like that, I also think of security. Mm -hmm. um, I've personally bought and sold five properties and <laughs> Almost every one of them has those little cream boxes up in the corner somewhere that nobody knows what they came to. There's multiple different boxes in some little closet somewhere that nobody knows what they do because everything is Wi-Fi enabled yeah. and things like that. Yeah, so um, with security and safety, it's really fantastic because you'll often get a front door lock that would be controlled with your home automation system as well. 
So you can have, you know, your kids coming home from school and when they unlock the front door, you'll get notified on your phone. And it's just kind of that, oh, it's a sigh of relief because you know that they're home safe. You can also then lock the door behind them <laughs> to make sure that nobody is coming in that isn't supposed to. Um, again, with Paysetter, we do have with our home auto system, a geofencing capability where if you did for instance, ever forget to lock your front door and you leave the area, you can have it set where it automatically will lock it for you. So just a lot of peace of mind that you're gonna get with this technology and use it to your advantage. So speaking of peace of mind and safety, one item that a lot of people either don't know about or don't ask questions about is radon gas. So radon gas is a problem here in Edmonton. It's a gas that can come out of our soil into our houses and we can be breathing it in without knowing because we can't smell it, we can't see it and we can't taste it. And why it's a problem is it's actually the second leading cause of lung cancer in the world just behind smoking. So this is something that people don't even know exists because when you're in your house, if you can't smell it and you can't see it, you're not gonna realize that it's there, but it's so hazardous to our health. And you wanna make sure that when you're buying a new build house that you're choosing a builder that's gonna put in a system to ensure that that radon gets mitigated from your house. So Paysetter kind of goes one step further because we put in a specific product called Cupolex, which goes underneath our basement floors. So this is something that we're doing ahead of time at the very beginning that you're only gonna get when you build something, right? So our Cupolex system is essentially a series of arches that are gonna create an air void underneath that basement slab for us to then draw that gas out and remove it from your house. So even if you're retrofitting something into a pre-owned house, you can still do that, but it's not gonna be as effective because underneath your basement slab is gonna be crushed rock, right? So you can imagine that trying to pull a gas out of somewhere where there's a bunch of crushed rock is gonna be a lot harder to ensure that it gets all removed as opposed to an air void. So we just go one step further, creating that peace of mind and that safety that Again, you're not gonna get that in something that's pre-owned. Something else to consider is beyond the interior of the home is frankly, where are you gonna live? What location, what neighborhood? And with new construction, you get a nice new neighborhood. Yeah, so what's great is that these communities are planned by master planners. So you're gonna get a community that is very diverse because we're gonna have different types and styles of homes within one neighborhood. So you get you know different income levels, different demographics. You're often gonna get a new school. So you can imagine walking your kids to school every morning, right? Two minute walk and they're at school. I grew up when I was a kid right across the street from my school and it was the best thing ever because I never had to pack a lunch. <laughs> I would always go home for lunch. So I mean that convenience of the location is definitely something important to consider. And those master planners typically, I mean they know how homeowners want to live in their mm -hmm. neighborhoods now. It's really about the cohesiveness and the interacting of the spaces among the community to increase that diversity with things like walking trails and bike trails and even stormwater ponds, right? Absolutely, like how do you get that community feel, right? So you're gonna have kind of those communal areas where you do have that nice storm pond, perhaps right in the middle of the neighborhood with walking trails leading to it, just to get that community feel that you wouldn't get from, a, from an older neighborhood. I That's mean, they weren't planned that way, right? So now we have to have, you know, a certain amount of nature and green space around, and you can imagine what that's gonna do for, you know, improving your health and your well-being, um, especially your mental health right now too. So it'll just help with how we live our lives today. The location will be considerate of that. So now we're gonna talk about what is probably number one on everybody's mm -hmm. mind, but we saved it for last, and that is price. Yeah, there's a lot of things that can factor into your price. What's awesome about something that's a new build or a new construction, you're not gonna be stuck in the middle of a bidding war. You're not gonna have you know, your emotions running high, saying, I need this house, I want this house, and I'm gonna pay more than it's actually worth because I'm in this emotional you know, battle of getting that property. So you're not gonna have that um, to contend with when you're doing a new build house. You know what the price is right from the beginning because yeah. you're choosing the lot and stuff like that. Yeah, it's because there's a lot of things that factor into how much a house is gonna cost. So let's say you wanna have a big lot, you can do that with a new construction. Let's say, you know, lot's not that important to you, so I'm gonna choose a smaller lot and get more value for my money and spend it inside the house, right? So there's a lot of things that you can control with the price when you're building something new because you're the one that's picking and choosing what is going into the house. 
So you can control your budget mm -hmm. also by when you go to the design center and choose your materials. So you, there's so much more control and again, confidence. I think that's the one yeah. over sort of theme that I'm hearing that as we're talking is just building new construction. There's a lot of confidence that you can have if you choose the right builder. Yeah, absolutely. And if you're talking about confidence, Another thing to think about is with a pre-owned house, you might not get a finished basement. If you're going to be building a new construction and you've built that trust and you've built that confidence with your builder, you can always consider finishing your basement with them because not only is it going to make it easier when you go for your monthly payments, you're paying one monthly payment, you're not going to have to come up with that big chunk of cash, you know, again, after you've already moved into the house. It just makes life easier when all the space is finished. And also, there's also income suites, yeah, right? Absolutely. So you talked about them a little bit before, mm -hmm. but I think like when you have these multi-generational families that are now having the whole family in one roof, or people who understand that real estate is a really good investment mm -hmm. and they want to have that income property for the basement. Yeah, I mean, there's so much flexibility when you're building something. So you can build that income suite for your mother-in-law, a nanny, um, for another family that's going to live down there, be it your cousin or even just a renter, you know, that's you don't know. Um, what's great about doing it with a builder is it's permitted, it's up to code, it's legally rentable. So there's a legal suite aspect Aspect, right like we often see again those you know homeowner renovations handyman special suites that aren't often legal you know that this one is fully legal so in terms of you know your home insurance those kinds of things that's a really big consideration to know that it's a legally permitted basement suite and all of that can be put into one price with mm -hmm. one mortgage payment mm -hmm. and something else that contributes to you know the strength or the the um, understanding of what your monthly payment is is also the energy efficiencies with new construction right you've got newer things in the home that are going to help keep those bills down so your your monthly payments going to be more predictable yeah so i mean let's say if you're comparing a pre-owned house to a new construction and let's say the new construction is just slightly more well you're going to make back that money because you're your utility bills are going to be lower. So not only are you going to get a brand new house that's built to suite for you, but you're going to be paying the same as a pre-owned that might be more expensive, right? So and you're getting a high efficiency appliances, maybe mm -hmm. maybe even a gas range, yeah. you know, maybe that whole different hot water tank that some builders offer, which mm -hmm. is on demand hot water, high efficiency furnace. That's such a huge uh oh with pre-owned it's just like okay you know you do that inspection and the, the inspector gives you that timeline of okay your furnace is this old mm -hmm, and they typically mm -hmm. last this long and you're yeah. like tick tock oh. tick tock yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, especially important with the hot water tanks so i mean your furnace it might not be that much of an imminent thing that you need to change when you're buying a pre-owned but a hot water tank can be so if you're buying a house that's old enough that the hot water tank has kind of reached its life Oftentimes, home insurances will mandate that you change it uh, because they don't want to be dealing with or insuring if you're going to have a leak because of an old hot water tank. So the tankless systems are just much more efficient. Uh, they also have improved since they were first being put into a house. So now we have, uh, with Paysetter specifically, very high output rating for our tankless systems. That was kind of the concern with a lot of homeowners with the tankless. Well, I'm not going to get enough hot water running through. I'm going to lose pressure when I'm taking a shower if someone else is washing dishes, right? Six so, people in the house, multi-generational house yeah with all exactly. the people you have in a suite it. in the basement and six people taking a shower right so this way you have enough hot water that you're not going to have that dip in pressure so this is what you're getting when you're buying a new built house is you're getting the latest and greatest technology for all of those things and everything in appliances in the home automation in the triple pane windows all of it yeah, peace of mind and confidence yeah yeah, I love it. Thank you so much for your time, Juliana. Mm -hmm. Like just, I, your brain is so brilliant. You know everything, you're definitely the subject matter expert on new construction. So how do people get in touch with you after today when they have tons of questions? So you guys can follow me on Instagram at paysetter underscore Juliana, or you can click the link below and it goes to our website and you can book an appointment directly with me. So if you're a house hunter looking to build new construction, be sure to like and subscribe for all of our upcoming content notifications. Thank you for watching and see you next time.